in this video i'll talk to you about how ghana is going to qualify for the next world cup in america so stick and stay with me let's get started now guys ghana is in group i of the group standings and ghana is placed third on the league log as at now so on top of the group is Comoros. Comoros has six points with two wins in two games uh Comoros beat ghana by one goal to zero away and then Comoros beat um central africa republic by four goals to two so Comoros is comfortably leading the group eh? so mali is second with one win and then one dose so in their first group game they played at home against chad and mali won three goals to one comfortably i mean three goals to one against chad and mali played at home again against central africa republic and they got a draw i mean one one at home and ghana black stars played 1-0 against madagascar i mean 90 plus six winner by um Inyaki williams and i mean <laughs> it was something that really brought a lot of relief to ghanaians in the next game ghana went to comoros and then we lost 1-0 against comoros so mali are playing three home games on the bounce at home so the next game is also going to be at home mali is playing against ghana and ghana must be really prepared for this game so now you have a fair idea of what's happening so if comoros wins their next two matches comoros will go 12 points if mali wins their next two games mali is going to go to 10 points and if ghana wins their next two games ghana will go to at least nine points and that's going to be really really important so ghana needs a win so this is a must win game for ghana because i mean if you do not win this game i mean our chances of qualifying is going to be very hard on the fifa world ranking ghana is placed 68 right now and then mali is 44th it tells you that mali is really a good side as now mali lost a game against Cote d'ivoire i mean in the afcon Cote d'ivoire ended up being the eventual eventual winners they beat nigeria 2-0 ghana, ghana wasn't able to beat nigeria i mean even though we play very good football and mali beat uh, amir abdul's mauritania by two goals to zero so I mean, fair enough, they are a very good side now. They are playing very good football. Mali is emerging to be one of the best sides in African football. So, talking about the team form, um, hmm, it's really sad for Ghana Black Stars because he's in Mali has played five games last, and then in the last five games, they won three, they've drawn one, and then they've lost one. They drew against Namibia, and I mean, they've been excellent so far. Uh, they won against Burkina Faso, they, they lost against Ivory Coast. So, three wins, so three wins, one loss. And then one draw. And in Ghana's last five games, Ghana has three losses and two draws. It tells you how bad or how bad Ghana <laughs> it tells you how bad we've sunk as a country. I mean, in terms of football at the highest level. A loss against Mali is probably going to take Ghana out of the qualification stages. I mean, I really doubt if Ghana can qualify if we lose against Mali. Because I mean Comoros will probably win their next two games. And I mean Mali is also a very strong side that we are fancying them. So going to this game, there's supposed to be one mentality. Do not lose. At least get a point. I'm blaming Chris Hissing because I think Chris Hissing could have gotten a draw against Comoros. I mean, if he was really attacking, if he was really trying to get a uh, get a draw or something. I mean, at Comoros. I mean, we could have even beaten Comoros if we were really uh, um, serious with Chris Hilton. I mean, so the the mindset for this game is to probably get a draw, and when you get a draw, I'm sure something else can happen for you to. I mean, maybe miraculously qualify to the World Cup. In the World Cup qualification, Mali is playing three home games on the bounce. I mean, they played one against uh, Central Africa Republic, they have played against Chad, and they are playing against Ghana. And I mean, I'm sure their next three games will probably be away. So they want to get their points at home before they probably go, go to that way. Again, knowing that in African football, going away is very difficult. So they really want to win this game. And Mali know that if they really want to qualify for the, for the next World Cup, they have to be Ghana. So they will come in with an attacking mindset to try and get goals early in the early minute, get goals as soon as possible, and then kill the game in the first half. Because when they get the goals, they're qualifying. I mean, if Mali beats Ghana, trust me, I can tell you for a fact that they will be most and qualify. So that's their mindset. And the second mindset too is Mali in their rich history as a footballing nation has never gone to the World Cup. And you know what? In the, la in the last game that Ghana played against Mali, Ghana lost three goals to zero. I mean, and in every facet of football now, under 17, under 20, under 23, Mali has been taking Ghana for a ride, beating us here and there. So Mali has actually become a very good side in world football. Mali has, Mali has actually become a very good side too in african football but then there's ghana and ghana has um this pedigree as a african power ghana has this african heritage i mean ghana has this african football heritage i mean ghana has done some before ghana went to mali and be mali in 2009 when they could just want to score the goals it happened i mean we've seen anytime it's mattered ghana has actually beaten uh, mali so i'm looking at it from this mindset that we can also get a win if we really want to get a win for me, if I was a coach, I'd probably go into a, a setup where I would defend very well 
and then play a counter attack in football because Mali is a very good it's a very good side. Mali is a very attacking side. I mean if you watch Mali versus Cote d'Ivoire in the half to give you a fair idea of how, how good they are. I mean so I mean Ghana must go and then also exert ourselves as one of the best teams in Africa. Try and get a win or try and get a draw. I mean this, this is a must uh, this is a must not lose game. A must not lose game. Yeah. The real responsibility is on the coach. If you look at player to player, probably Ghana has a, a whole lot of individual quality than uh, Mali. You can you can see that Ghana has this good player, Ghana has Mohamed Kudus, Ghana has Thomas Party. But what the problem is we are not really yet a team. We have to be very honest with ourselves as Ghanaians that this is going to be a very tricky game. I think if we win, there are two factors. What Mohamed Kudus and then Thomas Party will do and then what uh, Otto, uh, and Otoado's game plan for this match. I mean, if we have a good game plan, and if these individual players like Kudus Mohamed, uh, Suleimana, Suleimana come out in, if they turn up, Ghana can get a win. I mean, but if they don't turn up, it's going to be a very difficult task for Ghana, for, for Ghana Black Stars. Ghana is going to play this game with no wins in seven matches. I mean, it's really, really <laughs> scary. And then. Ghana, Ghana has played five matches without any clean sheet, so it's also really scary because uh, if we have to win this game, we probably have to make sure we keep, we have a clean sheet, call one or two goals. That's going to be a very good, a very big task. I mean, for Ghana. And in the last five games, we we'll probably consider more two or more goals. I mean, we consider two goals against uh, Uganda, two goals against Nigeria, two goals against Cape Verde, two goals against Mozambique. Oh God! But I mean, I think both teams will score. Ghana will get a goal, and then Mali will get a goal. Mali also get a goal because Mali also doesn't have a very good defense inside. Ghana also has one win in eleven away matches. I mean, we've been really, really terrible in these last two years in African football. So it's going to be a very big task. I mean, for me personally, if Otado gets a draw, perfect for him, for him to play this game. But I think he can also win this game if he sets up very well. I mean, in this encounter. So, for the Black Stars of Ghana, Otado, Otado is back as a new coach after qualifying Ghana to the World Cup in 2022 and he's doing, he's doing really well for me in my, I mean, in my uh, opinion, doing so well and making sure that he really wants to qualify Ghana. And he's made some really bold call, dropping captain Andre Ayu, making Thomas Partey the captain, bringing a lot of young guys to make sure we can compete. And I'm looking forward that he can make the, the final bold calls of playing the best players in camp, playing the best players, giving the young guys a chance, giving Nyama the chance, giving Kudu the chance, giving all the young boys the chance to play a very good game. If I was Otaro in this game, i play with a 4-2-3-1 or play with a very deep block, low bl- play with a very low block and then play a counter-attack in football. Make sure we can just counter-attack this man because they're going to play very good. But I'm sure Otaro also wants to play from the back and pass the ball. And whoever plays as a, de- whoever plays as a defensive midfielder or... A centre back one must make sure that if you are playing for the back, we don't have to concede chances. We don't have to make that silly error that yeah, I mean, Baba Edu should be made in Kumasi against Nigeria. I mean, I don't want to see that again. This new call up that the Kotado has brought up can really uh, impress Ghana. I think that Ghana can do all well if we really. Um, I think Ghana can do all. Well. If we put a certain chain of performance together, I mean, if we, if the individual players, if Mohamed Kudus, if Nyaki, uh, if Mohamed Kudus, Thomas Party, if uh, Kamal Din Suleiman, if Salis Mohamed, if they give their, I mean, they are fifty percent of their club performances, Ghana can win this game. I think that Ghana Black Stars will get a draw at least against Mali, and we can win also. And then in the group stages, I think Ghana Ghana will probably be if we don't qualify from number one. Ghana will be second in this group. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. The best year to come. Bye for now.